वेलकम टू शेखर मैथ्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न सेवेंथ क्लास मैथमेटिक्स की टू एफ ए थ्री एग्जामेषन कंडक्टेड फॉर् दि अकाडमिक इयर टू थौज ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू फार्मेट असेस्मेंट थ्री टू थौज ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू मैथमेटिक्स इंग्ली मीडियम फर् क्लास सेवन नव लेट अस्टे रोम नंबर वन चूज द करेक्ट आंसर ईच कैर इज वन मार्क देर आर फाइव क्वेश्चन so 5 into 1 mark is 5 marks number 1 golden ratio is 1.618 is to 1 so the correct choice is a number 2 simplest form of the ratio 24 is to 16 is on simplification by 8 8 three times 8 two times so 3 is to 2 so the correct choice is b number 3 S P minus C P is equal to S P means selling price, C P means cost price. Subtraction means selling price is more than cost price. Then we will get profit. So the correct choice is A. Number four, value of minus two whole square is equal to minus two into minus two minus into minus is plus two into two is four. So the correct choice is A. Number five, three power y into three power seven is equal to using the formula a power m into a power n is equal to a power m plus n, where y is a base and m n are the powers. Now three power y into three power seven is equal to three power eight plus seven, which is equal to three power fifteen. So the correct choice is y. Now let us take Roman number two. Fill in the blanks. Number six. In I is equal to P T R by hundred, P means principal, asalu. Number seven, market price minus selling price is equal to discount. Number eight, minus one whole power two thousand twenty one. Observe the number two thousand twenty one is an odd integer, so the answer always becomes minus one. If it is a even integer, it becomes plus one. Number nine, base is twelve and exponent is seventeen. Its exponent form is twelve power seventeen. Now number ten, two power zero plus three power zero minus four power zero. Observe that two, three, four are different bases, and all the powers are equal to zero. So we know that a power zero is equal to one, where a is any integer except zero. So all the values becomes equal to one, and one plus one is equal to two, and two minus one is equal to one. So the answer is one. Now let us take uh, Roman number three. Solve the following problems. Number eleven. Express the following in standard form. A B. Solution A. Write the number four eight three four zeros. That is equal to write the non-zero digits four eight three only. Now put a decimal point on the right side of four. Now count the number of digits on the right side of four. There are six. So now write into ten power six. So four point eight three into ten power six is the standard form of the given number. Now let us take solution B. Write three nine four. After that nine zeros. Now write only non-zero digits. That is three nine four only. Now put a decimal point on the right side of three. Now count the number of digits on the right side of three. There are eleven. So write into ten power eleven. So. 3.94 into 10 power 11 is the standard form of the given number. Now let us take 12th question. If 7 power 5 into 7 power 3x is equal to 7 power 20, then find the value of x. Solution: 7 power 5 into 7 power 3x is equal to 7 power 20. Using the formula a power m into a power n is equal to a power m plus n. We can write seven power five plus three x is equal to seven power twenty. When there is a multiplication between the exponents, we have to add the powers. Now five plus three x is equal to twenty because 
the bases 7 are equal then the powers 5 plus 3x and 20 are also equal now 3x is equal to 20 minus 5 because plus 5 when transposed to the right hand side it becomes minus 5 now 3x is equal to 15 because 20 minus 5 is equal to 15 so x is equal to 15 by 3 on simplification by 3 3 5 times so x is equal to 5 is the solution of the above equation now let us take 13th problem the weight of 72 pipes is 180 kilograms then find the weight of 90 such pipes solution write number of pipes and weight in kilograms 72 pipes weight is 180 kilograms and 90 pipes weight say w kilograms we know that as the number of pipes increase their weight also increase so observe the word increase and increase so the relation between pipes and their weight becomes direct proportion in direct proportion ratios are equal if we take the ratio of the pipes in downward direction then we must take the weight also in downward direction so let us take the ratio 180 is to w is equal to 72 is to 90 in downward direction now ratios denote is to and equal to the word denotes the symbol equal to observe the word proportion so in proportion product of medians that is w into 72 is equal to product of extremes that is 180 into 90 now w can be written as 180 into 90 by 72 because into 72 when transposed to right hand side it becomes divided by 72 on simplification by 18 18 4 times 18 5 times on simplification by 4 4 45 times so that is equal to 225 kilograms because 45 into 5 gives 225 kilograms so the weight of 90 pipes is equal to 225 kilograms now solve the following problems 14a 12 painters can paint a wall of 180 meters in three days how many painters are required to paint a 200 meters long wall in five days solution let us write a number of painters wall in meters and a number of days if 12 painters paint 180 meters length wall in three days let's say p number of painters paint 200 meters wall in five days now observe the relation between painters and wall if painters increase then the length of wall they paint will also increase observe the word increase increase so the relationship between them is direct proportion now let us take the number of painters and days if painters increase then number of days to complete the painting work will decrease observe the word increase and decrease opposite to each other so the relationship is called inverse proportion so number of painters and wall has a direct proportion so we have to take the ratios both in downward direction or in upward direction same direction but number of painters and days are in inverse proportion so if we take the painters in downward direction days must be taken in upward direction so observe that the number of painters depend on wall and days so 12 is to p in downward direction is equal to compound ratio of in downward direction 180 is to 200 and 5 is to 3 in upward direction so 12 is to p is equal to in compound ratio product of the first terms that is 180 into 5 is to 
product of the second terms that is uh, 200 into 3 so observe the symbol equal to so it shows proportion so product of medians that is so p into 180 into 5 is equal to product of the extremes so 12 into 200 into 3 now p is equal to 12 into 200 into 3 by 180 into 5 because 180 into 5 when transposed to the right hand side it becomes divided by 180 into 5 now 0 or get cancelled now on simplification by 6 6 2 ja 6 3 ja and 3s are get cancelled on simplification by 5 5 4 ja so that is equal to 8 because 2 into 4 is equal to 8 so number of painters required is equal to 8 is the answer now in 14 b let us take a simplify x power a by x power b into x power b by x power c into x power c by x power a using the formula a power m by a power n is equal to a power m minus n observe that if there is division between the exponents we have to subtract the powers so x power a by x power b becomes x power a minus b x power b by x power c becomes x power b minus c and x power c by x power a becomes x power c minus a now using the formula a power m into a power n is equal to a power m plus n observe the product between the exponents then we have to add the powers so x power a minus b plus b minus c plus c minus a because there is a multiplication between the exponents we are adding the powers now x power plus a minus a or get cancelled plus b minus b plus c minus c so all are equal to 0 and we know that a power 0 is equal to 1 using this formula where a is any integer so x power 0 is equal to 1 now let us answer b if 4 by 5 whole square into 4 by 5 whole power 5 is equal to 4 by 5 whole power k then find the value of k solution 4 by 5 whole square into 4 by 5 whole power 5 is equal to 4 by 5 whole power k using the formula a power m into a power n is equal to a power m plus n now 4 by 5 whole power 2 plus 5 is equal to 4 by 5 whole power k because there is multiplication between the exponents so we have to add the powers now here the bases of 4 by 5 are equal so the exponents of 2 plus 5 and k are also equal so 2 plus 5 is equal to k or k is equal to 7 because 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. So, k is equal to 7 is the answer. Thanks for watching video. Don't forget to subscribe. Say karmas.